Hi guys, I'd like to welcome you to the other part of my life. Yeah, many of you probably know me from television, right? In the morning, the crazy person, but this is where the real magic happens. Day after day, night after night, I wait in my kitchen for the kids to get off the bus. Why? Mm. So I can drive them to their gymnastics and lacrosse and then buy them fancy sneakers. Do I have fancy sneakers? No, I buy my stuff from Target and Amazon. But a couple of weeks ago, Fox let me go on a mystery trip. And where I got to go was New Flipping Zealand. I got to go all by myself, no kids, no husband. I had to do a little bit of work. And guess what? I've decided to take you on the trip. All right, where are we? This is uh, Kurori. This it's is Kurori. It's beautiful here. Oh, uh, beautiful. Winding road. Yep. It's summer here. Yes. What kind of animals do you think I'm going to see? Oh, uh, types of animals. No wild animals. No wild animals? Uh, birds and some quite a few cause I was, uh, kind of uh, birds there. What about kangaroo? Australia. No kangaroo in New Zealand? Uh, no, nah, it's Australia. <laughs> Except the zoo on the other side. Okay. It is beautiful here. Okay, one of the things that's cool is that you have to wait until the door opens to get in because they want to keep everything, all the bad predators out. Can I come in with you guys? Yeah, of course. We're in. Yep, go. Let's go. We're safe. So this is worth the trip. Okay, it's called Zealandia, and what it is, they basically have fenced off acres and acres and acres of land within Wellington so that all of it can remain natural and pristine. It's a 500 year project, so this is only 20 years in, um, but what they're trying to do is to get all the indigenous species back. Everything that's been endangered is back, and the tour that you get is pretty cool. You could write on it, early settlers used to use it as a paper but you could use it to write use as a postcard put a stamp on it dress it put it through the mail that's so cool oh. can't do it anymore though no but <laughs> you can occasionally find um examples of it in museums around new zealand and little country museums often here They like wood piles, they like gardening boots, um, and they will give you a nip if you disturb them. They, don't, they like to be able to le be left alone, but um, generally they're... So they're going to take a nip, like bite you, but they, you they don't them. sting? They don't, no, they no, don't okay. sting. But we have four different types of wetter. They can come and go as they like, so you don't always get a wetter in here, mm -hmm. but we do at the moment. We have a female, mm -hmm. I think the, both might be females. Now, how do you use, can, how can you tell it's a uh -huh. female? You're calling this a Wita Hotel? A Wita Hotel. Mm -hmm. um, I'd better put my glasses on and make sure. <laughs> you can just make it up, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, they have, the female has a spike at the back, between its back legs, and it's its over depositor, that's what its eggs come out, out of. Okay, first of all, have you ever been to the U.S.? No, I no. haven't. Have you ever heard of Philadelphia? Yes. Yes? I only heard of the, of the name, but didn't know exactly what. Yeah. yeah. Do you know about American football? Yep. yep. Do you know who is the current world champion? No. The Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, man. And you oh. said you like nice people? Yes. Nick Foles is our quarterback. He's like the head guy. Uh, the quarterback? Yeah. yeah. And he's a super nice guy. Yeah? Yeah. You asked if people are nice. In the, what did you ask me about America? Are they friendly people there? Yes. The same lifestyle there with New Zealand? Well, New Zealand seems a little chill. I think we get a little crazy, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. 
Well, you know, we can't compare to uh, to the States because it's a big country, you know, huge, millions of people there. Yeah. Compared to, uh, to New Zealand, it's only five million people. So... The whole country, five million? Yeah, the Like whole the city of Boston? Five, yeah, well, maybe one, uh, one city that can cover the whole New Zealand. But you, with the, when the Americans come, are we nice? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. I like them. <laughs> I like them. Say, go Eagles. Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta say it. You gotta say, "Go Eagles." Go Eagles. There you go. San Diego. What? <laughs> because I used to live in American Samoa. Listen, <laughs> there's no supporting San Diego. Eh? No. Why? Because the Eagles are gonna win, baby. <laughs> okay. Oh well. Go Eagle. Go Eagle. Uh, forget about uh, San Diego. Yeah, San Diego pooey on them. <laughs> and do you know what the color of the Philadelphia Eagles is? Is it the red one? Green. Green. So you have oh, to yes, green. yes, yes, yes. You yes, kind of yes. have a green shirt on. That's true. <laughs> so please keep it up. Yes. And then here's the chant. You ready? Yeah. E A G L E S Eagles. Oh, so you must be um what? Uh, cheerleaders, aren't they? Yeah, I'm a cheerleader. Basically. Ah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. How do I say thank you? Fafatai. Fafatai. Yeah. Fafatai. Yeah. Thank you, Paki. Easy. Pati. <laughs> So you're just basically jumping off of an industrial bridge, right? They put the plank there, so what else are you supposed to do? What else are you supposed to do? Have you ever been to America? Uh, no, unfortunately I haven't. Do you think you would try this in America? Um, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Should I? I don't know. It's cool. Yeah, if you want to invite me over. All right, go for it. Let's see you do it. Yeah, sweet. There he is. There he is! <laughs> it's, it's quite professional, don't you think? It's awesome! Um, first of all, you're going to be my new best friend? I already was it before you walked in. Really? That's it, yeah. <laughs> I asked you about the Philadelphia Eagles, yeah. and what did you say? Who doesn't know? I mean, they're good. They're great. <laughs> The ones you don't know about, that's the real shock. You have heard about the Philadelphia Eagles? I have. A lot of the tourists come in, you know, there's a lot of rivalry happening around there for it. So, yeah. yeah. Um, the Americans, when we come in... Yeah. What about it? We love it. Really? Yeah, like I told you, we never say welcome to Wellington, we say welcome home. Because the moment they leave, they're planning to come back. <laughs> that's home. It's so pretty here. What do you mean it's pretty? It's, it's home. It's you home. It? You yeah. expect me to relocate here? No, you are going to relocate here. Okay. It's addictive. That's what Wellington's all about. Are you going to mention it to my fam My son and my, uh, my family can come Look, too? when your son got her and he understand how cool his mother is, <laughs> he's going to be the next coolest kid in camp. I asked you the question. Yeah. Who is the most famous person ever to come in this bar? <laughs> and you said? My mother. My mother's the most famous person to come into this bar. Shut up! Yeah, bro. When she come out, I'll roll the red carpet. I actually wipe the table. When she comes in. You when, wipe a table. Yeah, for my mother. Okay, so I need a couple of like uh, New Zealand words. Right. So like, uh, cheers is cheers. Cheers is chur. Chur. Yeah, like tables and chairs. Chur. Chur. Okay. Yeah. How about a thank you? Uh, oh, thank you. Ta. 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 What about when I'm coming to see you? Sup. Sup? Sup. Like, okay, like what's up? Yeah, sup. Um, and then it's like the head nod, you gotta get the head nod. You gotta get the head nod right. So, you don't even talk, a lot of it is just like facial expression. We do that in Philly, we're like that in Philly. Yeah. But, I mean, we, we love you immediately. Here's what you'll know, okay? If we love you, yeah. you know. I already know it, I feel it. If we don't love you. <laughs> you get words. Yeah. You get words. So, the Philadelphia Eagles, mm -hmm. okay? Two people we hate. Right. The Giants from New York. Yeah. Dallas. Dallas. Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. You're not into that. No, not at all. Not at all. If you ain't flying with the Eagles, you ain't flying anywhere. All no. right, we're going to make some drinks? We are going to make some drinks. Okay, so in the next segment, we're going to be making some drinks. Yeah. Uh, it's early, but I'll try a drink. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a selection to try from. How okay, about that? That's good. Right. Um, uh, top. 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 Thank you. Anytime. We'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Has, do all cinemas, first of all, you remember my friend Ray, best friend? 
<laughs> do all movies or cinemas in New Zealand have a bar? They do, but not a bar that says good as this one. All right. Give it to me. So what am I looking at here? So this is a, a very simplistic setup for a bar. I mean, look at the, the amount of bottles that we have in the back bar. Hat. That seems like a lot of bar. Well, a lot it's of... not enough. If it's we had not more enough. Room, we would have had more. Really? Yeah, really. I'm looking for a traditional New Zealand drink. Oh, that's the thing about New Zealand. We're on the, the cutting cusp. We were the pioneers of amazing. Pioneers of amazing? We're the pioneers of amazing. Did yeah. you? By the way, I've seen a lot of man buns. Right. Is this where the man bun was also good? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to be rude. No, 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 you're not being rude. But I mean, like, you've seen Aquaman. I have seen Aquaman. He's from New Zealand. He's yeah. Hawaiian, yeah. Right. And the thing is, when I let these luscious locks out, it's either going to do two things, <laughs> seduce you or eat you. It, it's a massive thing. That's it. So that it's a more of a necessity than a fashion thing. It is. It is definitely a necessity. I mean, like, you know, you, you heard the story of Samuel and all of his uh, talents in his hair. Yeah. Same as Polynesians and New Zealanders. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, drinks. Done. Love this guy. <laughs> Is there a look at this rank per oh gin? Sal Sailor Jerry, we have that in Philadelphia. Yeah. What the heck is this? Unicorn Tears. Yeah, and look at this one out. The ladies gotta love that, this right? This is actually from America, so you guys can have it. Look, it like shimmers. We can't, oh, it's like that glitter stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you have better stuff than that. Oh, we, we got a lot of good stuff. Okay. And all the guests from America actually bring some of this over for us. They do? Yeah. Was really I cool. supposed to bring something? Well, you brought yourself. That's the most important one. Because without you, then we're not drinking. Okay. All right. All right. So, gonna, so what are we going to make? Well, I've got to go grab some tools. Um, all right. So give me two seconds. All right. I'm giving you two seconds. I just want to make sure <laughs> that we know that the reason why we are here is because 21st Century Fox sent me here. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna be filming basically a battle scene in a movie. It's called Alita Battle Angel. That's the name of the movie. Look at this. Oh, by the way, can you imagine us having these kind of snacks in a movie theater? Can you see what this is? It's like pastries and such. We don't have this kind of thing. Dear American movie theaters, we need this. Okay, what is this? Uh, this one is called a mirror my fizz pop, all okay. right? Now, this cocktail is like ridiculously easy. It's won actually two, three awards. So Who's one giving out awards around here? <laughs> People from Wellington are winning awards, all right? That's what we do. <laughs> okay. So it looks like you have gin. We got some gin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Labeled, nice and done. Uh, this yeah. one here, this is a batch. Oh. So inside here, there's a pomegranate juice, yep. lemon and lime juice, some ginger and lemongrass syrup. And then that's it. That's it the sounds basic. like a vitamin. Oh, do you know what? It's healthy. Okay. All cocktails are healthy here. All right. Hey, now this set. Uh, yeah, this is the one that we're using now. Okay. So custom made for us. Looks like a fish. Everyone's like, imagine if you had a, a cocktail that looked like a snow globe, and I was like, I made it happen. All right. Why not? <laughs> that's as easy as this. Okay. So the. I know that you Americans aren't shy on the liquor, so I'm going to take that approach, and we're just going to count two seconds with 30 mil pour. Okay. But well, we'll do three seconds because it's a hot day. All right. So one. Two, three. That's that there. We're just gonna top it up with a spat chair. Yeah. And there's a special line that I can see that you can't, all right? Okay. So it's right there. Now this there, I stole from the chef. All right, <laughs> so all this has got is a mango so juice. So you're a bandit. Look, I'd like to say we're borrowing temporarily. When we're finished, we'll give it back. Okay. All right? So there's mango juice, there's egg whites, and then we blow it up with nitrous oxide, and it becomes this beautiful foam that we're gonna lay over the top. All right. We're just gonna gently layer that there. Now you're showing off. That's what we're doing, Wellington. My man is showing off. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to find that I don't use any ice. You right. know why? Because right. ice is bad for cocktails. It's like dry humping. So this is what we use here. <laughs> now this is a special grade, food grade dry ice, and it chills down your drink and has this awesome effect. Look at this. Okay. So the moment I check it in there, it's doing its work. It's cooking. Whoa! There we go. Big face smoking it out. So that's what we do there to chill it down. And then sustainability get rid of the plastic straws if it's not paper or bamboo it's no good okay stick that one there and then around Miramar we've got lots of these now these are edible chrysanthemums all right so we check some of them in there so quickly like before people are getting their movie that's the thing about coming you know get cocktails at Roxy you know you're at a cinema you don't want to be waiting 10 minutes for a cocktail so we pre-batch all of it give me 30 seconds I'll give you the best tasting thing your lips have had I promise you all right <laughs>
No, I didn't know you were in here. I'm so sorry. Why did you come in here when I'm changing? That's so rude. <laughs> All right. There's, it looks like I'm going scuba diving. Mm, no? Not quite. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be quite different. How'd I do? I'm good? You just want to tuck your shirt into your yeah. pants? Yeah, this just, shirt? Ju yeah, gray just one. tuck it in. I'll put some velcro. More velcro. Oh, what the? <laughs> is there going to be any of that? Yes, there is. Okay, if yeah. you want there to be. That's good, right? Straight Get to my limber head. up. I gotta, I gotta let you stretch. Okay. All right. To keep this suit together, I will okay. chuck some velcro. Right here. All right. On the other side. Um. Yep. How small are your suits? Is this the smallest suit you have? I have even smaller. Okay, good. I even have a dog suit. A dog suit? Shit, yeah. <laughs> there you go, here. Sometimes there's a dog that has to wear these? Oh, yeah. How do the dogs do being put in one of these suits? Oh, they complain a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, this is a bit of a confidence killer. <laughs> I can help you with that. I've eaten a lot of carbs since I got here. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Zip it up. Okay. Awesome. Be back. <laughs>okay so i've just shot my scene as you can see with robert rodriguez you won't be able to see it for a little bit but um he did say that i was the best so far did you hear him say that sure did <laughs> seriously he sounded so energetic is that what it was yeah you think i got into it too I much you, no i don't i don't think too much i think you embraced it and that's so, what you want to do by the way i was a cyborg in an action scene and i beat some i basically pulverized someone yeah, so, you know, if you're going to get pulverized, or if you need to pull someone to be pulverized, I'm probably the person. So now we're going to take all this stuff off. That's right. I'm going to get this horrible thing off. Oh it will feel so much better. No, I feel good. Oh, there we go. And now I'm just going to start taking these markers off. I do feel like I could do this for a job full time. So if they come up with, you know, some kind of uh, position for a very tiny cyborg, will you remind them of my performance? We sure will. Okay. Tiny cyborg. It's Tiny very, cyborg. Very niche role. It's a niche role, but you need you need all types and sizes. You do. <laughs> this has been a very cool experience. You're gonna get to see it. Um, I think in about a month. Okay, you've heard of Philadelphia. Yeah. What have you heard about it? I've heard uh, Tom Hanks did a yeah. film there. Yep, there's a movie there. Yeah. Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak. You ever sounds, heard of that? It's, I, I've, I have heard of it. Yeah. It somehow conjures up an idea of a big steak covered in cheese. Yes, that's it. Yep. And what a big, big, big steak. What about the Philadelphia Eagles football team? Uh, we, we're a rugby country here. I keep hearing that. Are you all black? I'm an all black. Okay. I got I got all black blood running through my system. And what's the number one thing I should eat? Because uh, time is running out. Yep. So what's the number one thing I should have to eat here? Well, you can't come to New Zealand without touching, and I'm going to say this with a Kiwi accent. Okay. Fish and chips. Okay. Or fush and chops, as we say. Fush and chops. Yep. Go to the local fish and chip shop. Big piece of fish and chips. Tomato sauce. Wait, tomato sauce? Tomato sauce. is On it? it? On it. Yeah, right. not, not, not ketchup. But actual sauce, it's a sweet sauce. We do a tomato sauce. You say it's good? It's good, try it. And to drink? Drink, you fill it with a beer. Okay, because they've been trying to make me have the Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, But yes. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm more of a beer guy. More of a beer? Go for a lager. Lager. A lager, yeah. All right, love it. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you, cheers. No, ta. Ta. Is that good for thank well, you? Choice. Choice? Choice. Choice. Choice means, yeah, cool. Choice. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Thank you. When everybody's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll do our best. Now we're about to look at all the shit. Up on these mountains. Okay. <laughs>
The number one question when you're having a gorgeous glass of champagne right here, literally at the edge of the earth, is. Oh, no, maybe not. Should I use my driver? Pitching wedge or a seven? I'm going to go with a seven. just the beginning for tonight's activities. Here we are. I like this. Let's do it. Yeah. Is this a traditional New Zealand thing to do? Not really, but it's a great <laughs> New Zealand thing to do. What are you guys doing? It is, oh, and that goes in there? If you'd like, or you can lick it by yourself. I'll put it in there. What if you yeah, I'd put it in there if I was you. Cool it down a little bit. And then you can... Alright, um, I've been saying good on ya. Yeah, good on ya. Is that good? Yeah, that's pretty good. You're on it. Um, when I've been talking about Peter Jackson, because yeah. I went to his production studio, I was... Yeah, what? in Park Road or whatever, I said, Peter! Peter Jackson? But like, Peter. I just, I've been yelling that. Yeah. Peter. Peter. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Anything else I need to say? Oh. Got chur down. Huh? Chur, bro. Chur? Yeah. That's this. No, chur. So ch yeah, yeah, so you'd cheers someone, you'd say cheers. Cheers to myself. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. Ta. Ta, yeah. I'm basically New Zealand. Okay, so you're probably wondering where the action video is. It's been edited. It looks pretty good. Even some of the nerds at the office that hate everything I do said it was okay. So if you like this and you tell me and you subscribe and you comment and you do all that nonsense, um, I'll show you the video next week. I have to say, my kids are downstairs watching YouTube right now. So are we gonna start watching YouTube? I'm not sure. That's one of the things that you guys can comment on. Again. I have to go back to the magic, the fabulosity, the fun. Momming out for now. Bye guys.